Hello everybody. By now, you have learned a little bit about a famous artist, Wayne Tebow, and hopefully you have realized and understand that one of the things that he is most famous for painting is things that you eat. Cakes, pies, pastries, which is like a donut or a cinnamon roll, those kind of things. So you might have guessed by now that your next project is going to be a painting in the style of Wayne Tebow and we are going to be creating a picture with cupcakes. Yum, yum. And so one of the things that you're going to have to do is you are going to have to create some cupcakes. We're going to be making a still life, which is a picture of things that are not alive, set in some sort of arrangement. And you're going to have three cupcakes. And not only are you going to be making cupcakes in the style of Wayne Tebow, but you're going to be learning and showing the element of space, which means you're going to have one of your cupcakes in the background, far away, one of your cupcakes in the foreground, close up, and of course, one of your cupcakes in the middle ground, which is in the middle. And so to do this, you are going to have to draw three different size cupcakes one large, one medium, one small, because things that are far away need to be small, things that are up close need to be large, and of course things that are in the middle are going to be medium. So pay attention and I'm going to show you how to get started making just this part, the cup of your cupcake. We're going to do it three times, three different sizes. So to get started, you are first going to need one of these papers. You'll notice that it has three different spaces, large, medium, and small. These will be located somewhere in the room. You can ask Mrs. Gray to locate one for you. And you'll take this back to your scene. Of course, you'll also need a pencil, maybe an eraser. And the first thing I want you to do is put your name on this paper, probably over here. Okay. So, since we need a large cupcake, a medium cupcake, and a small cupcake, and I want you to make sure that you have these the right size to fit on our background, I have given you the spaces that you need to fill. And so, we're going to be drawing just this part of our cupcake, the cup part. And as you can see, it's not exactly a rectangle. It's a little bit wider here at the top and a little bit narrower down at the bottom. So the shape that we're going to draw is called a trapezoid. You might know that word from math. Now, to make your big one, you need to use this whole space, which means the top of the trapezoid will be near the top of the box. You'll have your sides and the bottom of your trapezoid needs to be at the bottom of the box. Do not make a teeny little, little trapezoid right here because you need to fill the space. So you're going to start with the top of the trapezoid, which is going to be a horizontal line near the top of your space. Okay, the trapezoid has two slanted sides not super slanted, we're not drawing an ice cream cone, although Wayne Tebow did draw ice cream cones sometimes. We want ours to be sort of slanted. As you can see on this one, it's just sort of slanted there on the sides. We want them to be the same because this should be a symmetrical shape, which means the left side is the same as the right side. So something like this. You do want it to go almost all the way to the bottom because we want to fill this space. That's very important. Okay, so we've got two slants that are about the same <clears throat> and now we're gonna just add the bottom of our trapezoid. Ta-da, that's done. You can see how big it is almost to the top, almost to the bottom, and even these corners are almost to the side. This is a good size. Now we're gonna do the exact same thing inside this space. Almost to the top, almost to the bottom. There we go, 
and you guessed it, same thing in the smallest box. Now, when you have those three things finished, I want you to check with me. Take your paper, show me, and I will make sure that you have these boxes filled. If they're too small, you can guess, I'm gonna send you back, erase it, make it bigger. Now, when I have said okay, there is one last thing that you need to do. Inside each one of these trapezoids, we are going to make a few of these lines. Now, this cupcake has a bajillion of those lines. We don't want that many. We want to make only four lines inside each cupcake. Now watch closely. Your number one job is going to be to get these lines spread out kind of equally so that you don't have two that are close together and two that are far apart. And I have a good way to show you. So what you're gonna do is you're going to put one on each side first and it's gonna be slanted like the edge. So for example, like this. One, two. Now I have two. Remember I said we need four lines. So now I'm gonna put two straight ones in the middle. There's number three, and there's number four. Excellent. Now we'll do the same thing over here. Outsides first. One, two, they slant just like the outer edge. And now two more in the middle, straight. Number three and number four. Perfect. Last one. One, two, three, four. Make sure all of your lines are spread out kind of equally. They should never be touching, even at the bottom on that small one when it's starting to get a little crowded. They should always be on their own, not touching each other. Very good.